Hey, what's up, everybody? Mr. On Demand here, man with the master plan. And the hard drive race is heating up. Um, there's been a lot of uh, bad news in the press about Seagate and new hard drives being sold that were actually used. A lot of different stuff, a lot of bad things. But in this situation, we've got some news that I really want to talk about, and it really pertains more to the new technology that's coming out on the horizon. That's going to help all of us. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Race to 100 terabyte hard drive heats up as Seagate pulls the rug under Western Digital Toshiba's feet by acquiring HMR Specialist. <clears throat> this is important because HMR refers to the technology that's being used for these new hard drives. These are There's new uh, mechanical drives being made with a whole new technology that's giving us the ability to get really, really large hard drives. Not to mention are they larger, but they're faster. So this is a really big leap forward uh, with respect to SSDs. The problem with SSDs are you physically just can't get them as big. So if you're really needing a large drive, and we're needing a lot of large amounts of storage for all of these data centers, AI, everything. A lot of data storage is needed. So this is really big going forward in, in the next several years. Data storage is going to be one of the big things that will keep us from actually moving forward in some of these AI areas because the AI is going to need a lot of information to be able to pull from. Let's go ahead and read this article and let's take a look at what we got. <clears throat> when you purchase through links on our site, we may earn affiliate commissions. So just to let you know from Tech Radar, that's where this comes from. Um, but uh, Seagate's charging ahead in its quest for produce supersized hard drives. Toward the end of January of 2025, the world's largest hard drive vendor, vendor introduced a 36 terabyte model, arriving just a month after it debuted a 32 terabyte model. And it revealed at the time that a 60 terabyte drive is on its way. Now the firm has announced plans to acquire Intivac, a company known for making sputtering systems that apply ultra thin layers of material such as iron pl uh, platinum alloy to hard drive platters. This advanced deposition process allows for the creation of magnetic layers with higher uniformity improved signal to noise ratios and fewer defect potentially resulting in denser data storage over 65 percent of the world's hard drive output is produced using intivac systems which works out to more than 50 million discs per month the technology is considered essential for Magnetic Recording and Heat Assisted Magnetic Recording, HAMR. HAMR, which lowers magnetic resistance by heating the drive, allows data to be written in smaller, more stable bits and will likely be a key factor in hard drives reaching 100 terabyte capacity. By buying Intervac, Seagate has potentially scored a big win over its rival. Seagate is Intervac's primary customer, but Western Digital is one too. And it, along with Toshiba, has HAMR drives in the works. So this is interesting. So basically Seagate buys the company that's also being used to make its rivals hard drives. Looks like they're trying to basically put some pressure on their competitors uh, that, you know, pretty interesting dynamic at the in the way the business you know business is going um this was un unanimously approved the definitive agreement will see seagate acquire intervac in an all cash transaction for four dollars per share intervac will also pay a one-time special dividend of 0.052 cents per share bringing the aggregate consideration to Intivac stockholders to $4.052 per share. Separately, Intivac's board of directors has declared a regular quarterly dividend of $0.05 cents per share, which will be paid March 13, 2025 to Intivac stockholders. As a result of the move, Intivac will no longer hold its earnings call, which had been set for February 25th. Well, good reason for that. Are getting sold. 
Indivac's board of directors has unanimously approved the transaction and recommended that all stockholders tender their shares in the offer. The acquisition is expected to close in late March or early April 2025, although as blocks and files point out Western Digital or Resonac, which counts Toshiba as a customer, or both could object to the deal on reduced comp competition grounds, which could delay its completion or even prevent the transaction from taking place. So this isn't uh, all 100% a done deal, uh, but it is close. So tell me, what do you guys think about this? Are you excited to get bigger drives? Um, this would mean that we would not only get new, faster hard drives uh, that are bigger, but also create current drives in the market right now to come down in price because we would be that technology would be older technology obviously those drives would still be being produced because a lot of people still have needs for 8 10 12 16 terabyte drives that are running under the standard mechanical technology that's running out there today since things are already tooled up for that technology those types of devices will be able to be made easier where they'll be charging a premium for these new drives and um that's how technology works that's how the that's how it's always worked with all these new things when new stuff comes out it's a premium because you have to pay for all the time it took for them to develop the new technology tell me what you guys think you guys need more storage or uh, are you good with your storage what is uh your opinion on this leave a comment down below and please let me know what you think uh we can expect um, I think it's going to be several years before we get anything close to 100 terabyte. The 60 terabytes really aren't going to be on the market for a couple of years themselves. Uh, we will see some 30-something terabytes probably over the next year or two. Uh, by 2030, we'll, we might see some, uh, some 100 terabytes by about then. That's kind of That's kind of how I see this all progressing. I just see that some of those large drives being a basically something that most of your average people aren't going to need or want, but they are things that will get bought by major corporations to go in the data centers for us that we use every day for our cloud servers and for seed boxes and et cetera, et cetera. So these drives do play an important part in helping us possibly get a better deal on storage and data in cloud centers as well because that's where these drives are going to go. So this is important for you guys to know all of that trickles down, all of that plays a part in uh, however we decide to use our, our servers or our data, whether we decide to buy drives directly, which would mean 12, 16 terabyte current technology drives that will get cheaper, or whether or not we are getting uh, data from, you know, buying, buying storage from a cloud server of some type. Um, that being said, you guys have all... I'll have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.